hello guys and welcome back in this lecture we're going to be learning how to export our designs from adobe illustrator for the purpose of printing okay so just come to file and open this design this uh, this file rather this 13 export from adobe illustrator for print okay just come on your export from adobe illustrator folder and select this one which says for print right and then just open it so when you open it you are going to have this on your screen now before you export for print there are a few things you have to conclude on and there are a few things you have to check so the first thing is the format to which you would like to export and generally there are two formats that most printing companies use most printing companies use the pdf format and also the jpeg format and i'm going to show you how to export in both formats in this video and the second thing you have to check is the color mode which you want to export in uh, for the color mode i recommend you also uh, confirm with your printer which color mode they will accept because there are two color modes we have the cmyk color mode and we have <coughs> the rgb color mode don't worry if you do not understand much about the color modes we have a separate uh, module in this course where we take a dive into colors and look at even the cmyk and rgb colors okay so generally for big printing presses the cmyk color mode is usually used but for smaller machines the rgb color mode will work perfectly so how do we change the color mode just come to file and document color mode and now you see it's currently at rgb sorry currently at cmyk and as you can see it here it's cmyk right just come to document and change to rgb if you would like to use an rgb color mode okay so this is just a simple thing you have to do in order to change the color modes okay so these are the first two things you have to agree on the color mode and the format to which you would like to export and finally you have to check the document size okay so a higher document size could slow your system's performance if you're dealing with a very complicated design okay so you could lower it during the work or during your design phase and when you want to export i recommend you use the high which is 300 ppi's okay you can also choose custom uh, resolutions where you can choose higher resolutions okay so these resolution figures will, will guide how high resolution your design is so higher ppi values will generally help you achieve higher resolution designs okay so in order to export your design let's assume we have everything set the way we want it we have the color modes we have our resolution and we know the formats we want to export so let's export in the jpeg format for now so in order to do that just come to file and go to export and then export as okay now come to the folder and just choose the format here and in this case we're choosing jpeg so select jpeg and then click on use artboards so as to select the artboard we want to use and as you can see we only have one artboard here so this is artboard one okay so artboard one and click export now this option now comes in comes up where you are asked to choose the color mode uh, again which is cmyk or rgb we choose grayscale it's going to export a gray design okay so it's not going to have colors it's just going to be black and white so i will choose uh, cmyk and then for the quality this will determine the quality of your design okay so just keep it at 10 just keep it at maximum it doesn't cost you anything and then for here just leave this as baseline okay and then for resolution just take it to 300 okay 300 or you can use others to take it even higher if you want but 300 will do um and then just click ok and adobe illustrator will create a document for you and as you can see this is our document ready for print so this is the process you go through in order to export a jpeg format image now the next one is to export a pdf so in order to export the pdf just come to file and save as okay now you then choose adobe 
a PDF okay and save and then the PDF option will pop up now there are presets which you can choose from so you just choose the high quality then now if you choose the high quality we can just save us here and it's going to create a PDF file okay we're going to create a PDF file uh, but the PDF file is going to create if we do this is going to be very uh, probably very high in, in size or high in size not too high probably as you can see it's 835 kb this is okay is okay but you can also if the size is too big you can just come to save us okay pdf again let's just make this one and save us and uh, after choosing the high quality you just uncheck this box if you uncheck this box and click save us it's going to create a smaller uh, but very usable version so you can see this one is 835 and this one is 88.6 kb okay the size the the quality has not reduced the quality has not reduced it's just that this one it's created is more of an adobe illustrator file okay while this one is more of a general pdf file okay and we want a general pdf file right so this will work this will suffice so these are basically the two steps you take in order to export your designs out of adobe illustrator for the purpose of printing okay and that will be it for this video okay in the next video we're going to be learning how to export for web in screen purposes hey so that's it for today's video hope you enjoyed it and learned something new if you did please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. We post new videos every week covering topics in the fields of graphic design and illustration, motion graphics and video, branding and more. If you want to support us and get access to exclusive benefits such as the project files we use in our classes, a live chat with us, shoutouts and more, consider becoming a patron on Patreon. You can join for as little as $3 a month and the link to our Patreon page is in the description below. And if you want to take your learning to the next level, you can check out the complete course of which this episode is a part of. And in the complete course, you get access to more than 10 hours of video lessons, project files and resources, class exercises, a Q&A section, a certificate of completion and more. You can get the course for a special discount by using the link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.